Hi, this is Dan, and I'm here with more Let's Play of Monster Train. So I'm trying to get a level 25 win with the uh, Melting Remnant, and I've got uh, Hellhorn as our allied clan. So let's get started here. So we do have a burnout boosting thing, so we can probably go with... Um... Ooh, well, I like this. We have units die a lot as, uh, as Melting Remnant. So I'll we'll have to see what our choice here is. The uh, oh, Burn Bright is obviously good, but that's not one of our options. So we're going to go with, uh, with the Reformer. Which ought to be, you know, synergizes well with the, uh, the artifact we got. Just got to arrange for uh, our units to die, but do so in an effective way. So, spikes, that's fine with me. So they're going to be coming back. Yeah, so I'm not sure that the Hellhorned are the greatest uh, support, you know, greatest synergy with, uh, with Melting Remnant. Like, I think, the, for example, the Imps are kind of an anti-synergy. Um, But we'll do what we can here. Uh, so. Okay, so hit this guy with the Wicklash, because I think that'll be preserved across. Uh, across death. I don't think we want to play these train stewards. Well, yeah. Yep. So this guy has got a, a 19. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't great. We took a lot of damage there. Uh, might as well get these guys. Because they're gonna burn out, and we can torch this guy. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Well. Actually, hold on. I think we're going to do more damage overall if I put Rage on the champion. Yep. <laughs> I was trying to think, who should I give the Wicklash to? Because I put it on him, it'll boost his damage, but also give him Burnout. And then I was like, wait a minute. We've got another way to boost our damage here. <laughs> well, I think a draft is pretty good. Yeah. Do we like the horn break? Um. I mean, it can be good if, I mean, it's a way to take down those uh, high armor units, but I don't know, it never seems to come up at the right time. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we'll go for this way. <sighs> Lady of the Reformed is great. Big Sludge, does, we have sort of a synergy. Um, I mean, there's other rage stuff, basically. Uh, yeah, so I think because we have this and we get money when things die, uh, we're going to be better served by going the big sludge route rather than the, the keeping things alive route. Well, he could be even bigger sludge. Uh, <laughs> And it kind of sucks that not a lot of other stuff would fit on the floor with him. So I think that's the argument for not doing that. Uh, let's give this guy a rage. I mean, he's going to pop in and be pretty good. Um... The problem is he's already big. So I and yeah, his superpower works. Um, let's reroll. All right, multi strike. So I think multi strike is gonna be good there. Um, yeah, I think this is good too. Alright. So now I think we're pretty, we've got a pretty good situation going on here. Um, they have rage. No, we can't turn that on. I think there's just no way we would have been able to guarantee the uh, that they wouldn't be able to get past the top four. So we put you here. And down here, big sludge. And a draft. It's going to be great, and we'll put a drag down here. Yeah, I think that's fine. I guess we don't have slay triggers, right? It's a harvest trigger, so might as well save the HP. Oh, 
big sludge. This guy, put in there, and we clash him, and that's pretty good. Guess, guess do that. <laughs> Get this. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. So we do have that memories of the melted, uh, which will allow us to boost. But I don't think this is a great X card to boost into. So let's just skip these. The armor could be good for keeping Big Sludge alive. All right, we do need to preserve his rage. And so go over here, get an artifact, that's good. He, over here, I think what we would duplicate is probably our draft. Um, and we do need some pyre health. Yeah, I think this guy is good enough for a duplication. So let's, let's do that. Although, we'll go to the uh, caverns first, in case we get something amazing. So we might want to duplicate that instead. Well, I think we'll take... A remnant consumable. Um... This, I, I don't know, I, I never like this, so I'm just going to take the money. And let's see what the Hellhorn consumable is. Rage. Rage 3 just isn't that great, in my opinion, so let's take the money. Well, Frostbite. Six is pretty good, but it doesn't really synergize with anything, so let's take the money. Yeah, and I think I, uh, I like the idea of the draft. And then I think we need to get rid of our train stewards. Because uh, they're clogging up the deck. And we have, since we have random reform, I don't like getting them killed. Because they just they take up two spaces instead of one, like the drags. Well, hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. We go here. Hit this thing. With pierce that goes through his shield. And big sludge can go there. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're not getting any harvest triggers in this guy because we're not getting the right units. Uh, so this is a little better. Gotta get rid of this thing. Higher health is not doing great. <laughs> said earlier when this this can take out some armor units very nicely yeah and we're winning okay all right so big sludge it did work out I, I, we still have a problem where uh, he doesn't have enough HP, I think. But he's not a burnout unit. Ooh, I do like this thing. I'm gonna take it. Second big sludge I don't think makes sense. He's, he's too big. <laughs> is the problem. Um, do we want a Horned Warrior? I'm not so sure. So let's just take the money. And I think capacity works for us very well. So our units are pretty upgraded already. Uh, we can use some Pyre Health. I guess Formless Child could maybe use an Endless if we could get it. Now uh, we want to get rid of our train stewards. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, Alpha 
a fiend. He's big, but he does scale up. Yeah. So this is, I think, interest more interesting if you can reuse it. Um. I think they're just, uh, because of the, the amount of space they take up, I never want to play them, so they're, they're just bad in our deck. Ooh, interesting. I've never never played with the, the Reform Rector Flicker with the uh, after the patch. Now he enhances things as he brings them back, so I like that. Spikes, I think we can do that. I'm happy to have my units die on spikes. And we get an artifact out of it. Alright, you go up here. You go here. You go there. Here, it'd be nice if we could do something to kill the guy in the back, uh, but we really can't. Except, uh, well, raging our champion might be good. least we'll kill the guy in the front. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm trying to think, I think we want to do this. And the question is, who do we want to put the Wicklash on? On the Draft, who's already got Burnout, or <sighs> Big Sludge is going to die anyway. So we're probably going to bring him back. Uh, so he's probably going to be better off if we enhance him a little bit. Now. This will be interesting. So we need to do some damage. Um, and I think Alpha Fiend is going to be better because he'll last longer. We'll bring Big Sledge here, even though he's going to burn out in one turn. guy here because at the very least we'll benefit from uh, from that okay nice draft at the back and that wins us the thing yeah hold on. rather than playing that we should play these so we don't take pyre damage Reforming the Alpha Fiend after a Relentless Floor is pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, and awesome that we get this uh, gain uh, enhanced by 10 on death. That's fantastic for what we've been doing here. Um, I do like this, too. Anything that enhances, I really I love. <laughs> so... Uh, this can help Big Sludge. Okay. So I would like... an artifact, but I also want Pyre Health. Um, so let's go over here. 
And we kind of really, we just got an awesome artifact, so. So, permafrost. On this might be interesting. Like, we can't really, it doesn't really do anything for us right now. But I mean, it's probably going to be good eventually. of a spell we don't really care about that much. <laughs> spell shield 2 I think will be fine. Um, I'm a little bit concerned these guys have harvest triggers, and I always have trouble with them. Uh, but I don't think spell shields is... Like, I, we're, we just don't do very much spell damage, so we might as well get some extra benefit out of the deal. Alright. Flicker, you go up there. That's it pierce their shields anyway, so that's good. Uh, might as well get burnt out. Or killed, either way. It's the same effect. Uh, okay, and now we don't have the Ember to play Alpha Fiend, so I don't have to decide whether to play him or not. We can't. As well, hit you with a whiplash. There's no room here, so we might as well have you burn out up there, and then hopefully the foremost child will bring him back. Nope, Rector Flecker got him, but that's all right. I guess maybe now the uh, Formless Child will get... Um... Okay, I was hoping he would get Big Sludge. <laughs> he did not. So here... Ooh, okay. 
Okay, this guy's pretty good. It seems like a waste to use our purge torch there. So we can we can blaze back. I guess you. Problem is, <laughs> with the uh, the spell shield on, we can't really do a whole lot against these guys in the back. <laughs> and that's causing a problem. I mean, this guy's multi strike is also a problem, but. Could have worked if we had gotten slightly better luck. Um, I, mean, I guess we put you here. Oh yeah, and he burns out in one turn anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, and there's no room for anything else. All right, well, yeah, this this one just, I guess it was the, I thought we would be fine, but our, our um, I partly it was, I guess, my greed for trying to get the foremost child to work and bring a uh, big sludge back. Um, so by the time I finally did have to just rely on um, the reform mechanic, he only had burnout one, so it's like he was kind of useless. <sighs> so, I mean, that one... I don't know, the game's a little bit frozen, I guess. <sighs> that one was disappointing, because I think it was going great up until then. And it just kind of fell apart there at the end. Um, yeah, can I? Uh, 
uh, hopefully this is still recording because my recording software is not being super responsive right now. Um, yeah, so I think that one just kind of fell apart on that battle. Um, I'm not sure it would have made a huge difference, but that sort of that multi-strike at the end kind of um, hit our, our Achilles heel in that uh, like we're relying on our units dying and then coming back, but that boss can kill an entire floor, you know, without taking a lot of damage. And because we couldn't take the ones out behind it, it was even worse. So, oh well, I guess that was partly my mistake for turning on the trial there, but yeah, what are you going to do? All right, so I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you come back next time. Bye.